Hi, my name is Mina. I'm from Serbia and we are right here in front of my agency, Women Management. So let's go inside, say hi and see what I do. Women start in Italy uh, from uh, a branch of the women group in New York, Women Management New York. And Women Milano started on 2002 from the cooperation of Paul Roland, the founder of uh, Women New York, and Deja Markovic, which is right now the president of the women group worldwide. I came after 20 years of business. I joined the Women Milan group eight years ago and was a very good challenge for me because it was the first time I'd been working in a network. It means uh, an agency who can handle the same girl in Paris, New York and Milan. It's pretty interesting because after 25 years, almost 26 years of business, I still have uh, the, um, the chance and the, 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 the fun to build up career here, which is rare. So we are here at the office, Women Management, and I'm sitting here with my booker, Barbara, so we're going to ask her a couple of questions. I'm Barbara, I'm her booker, and I take care of her. Yes. <laughs> in all the sense, and I make her work, and I make her going up and up on her career and her level. When you have a new girl, young, coming, what's your advice? What's the first thing that you say to her? First of all, she needs to feel comfortable. She needs to understand that this is a business. This is not a joke. So she needs to do her job. We need to um, build up her book and see how she is in pictures, make her going, doing experience, teach her how to walk and uh, make her feel more sure of herself that we can, like that she can approach the business in the right way. Do you like, when you see a girl, sometimes do you get that feeling that you like, know she's going to be next it, next new face? Practically all my girls, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Barbara, for your time and for this lovely interview. I'll see you around and now we're going to the scouting. <laughs> Uh, my name is Silvia. I work in the Scouting Office of Women uh, since seven, eight years. We are organized that we have you know, many scouters going around the world. They are planning you know, their trips and then when they come back, uh, they give us all the material they found. How do you find them? Is it that the mother agencies from those countries that send you? or? Uh, yeah, I mean, basically when the person go to make scouting, they, you know, they go in the country and uh, the agencies uh, of the girls organize you know, a casting and they show the girls that are available for you know, or Milan or Paris or New York or for all the network. Otherwise we receive also many proposals by email, you know, sometimes we take girls also from uh, you know, just looking at pictures they send us. And which are like the most popular girls? From like which country? It depends. Like it depends. You know, of course, Russia, Russian. Like East East countries girls are you know really Eastern European. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we have a lot of them. But recently there were a lot of Dutch girls. Mm -hmm. There was like you know explosion of Dutch girls. So if you would like see the girl on the street that you really like and you think she would be great for this job, like how would you come to her and like? Propose. If you go there in a nice way, you introduce yourself, you show your business card and you know, it, it's, you, you explain how it works and how is the business. I mean, we are a big agency so, you know, you have to be soft when you approach a girl asking, even if, uh, you know, you find her somewhere in, in, in the world. You go there, you know, and, and try the words, they, they can be, you know, scared. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, let's go. <laughs> So there's a casting going on inside, there is a couple of girls, so I'll have to go and do it as well. I guess we're gonna wait a couple of minutes, but it's not that bad, so let's go in and see how is it.
The changement of women in the past years is following the changement of, of fashion, you know. We are pretty much obliged to follow fashion. The, the look of the girls is changing every single year, every single time. On the 80s was beauty, it was vamp, it was rich. And then the business has changed a lot and then there were the skinny girls with the dead eyes, with the no expression and then now thank god again it's beauties so it means that we follow also the market we are obliged to follow the market less is better it means uh, you can grant a career a long career if you really decide to do the best job the best campaign and not too much every single season a girl cannot do all the shows you have to really decide which one has to do even if a girl has no pictures has only one test we decide to make her one good spot one good show and that's it We consider models part of us. Uh, we do our job with love, with passion. We create, uh, first of all, we create a great relationship with models, with mother agency, which for us are very important because they are the, the ones who believe in us, who trust in us. We protect the models. Uh, when we know, for example, a model go out and go to the disco, that's not good, you know. When you see model in the disco outside, you know, they're not model that we care of. We don't want this kind of models. What's your name? Uh, Masa. And what's your profession? You're a photographer? Yes. So we would just... I was just doing your casting, so can you tell me a little bit more about it? I know uh, this casting is for the fashion magazine, and I'm starting the one model with the blonde hair and a little bit so cute girl. Does the really the, the personality affects on which girl you're gonna choose, or it's just the looks? And both, and so both. yeah, mm -hmm. and that depend that depend the clothes, so. Better I love boss and the personality that I needed. So. Okay, so she needs to move and to have the vibe and everything. A women agency. Yeah. How did you choose the women? Did you already have an experience with them? Did you work before with the women girl? No, I'm, I worked with women so long time, so always I um, call you a women and, and so big agency, so always there are so many girls and so good. Mother, so. She's overboard, she's self-assured Oh no, I know, a dirty word Hello, 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 how low Hello, 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 how low With the lights out, less dangerous Here we are now, entertain us I feel stupid, a contagious, here we are now, entertain us, a mulatto, an albino, a mosquito, my libido, yeah. My name is Mina and I'm 21 year old now. I come from Serbia and for the last almost five years I've been doing this job and I still love it and it, every day feels like, like that I just started. I was 16 at that time. I was about to turn 17. Uh, there was a little casting in my city because I don't live in capital city. And I was passing by and I was like, let's see what's going on here. Like, let's, so I enter and like, I introduced myself, she introduced me, showing me the picture, what is the agency about, how does it look. 
But I was too young, so uh, the, the moment was when I got home and I said to my mom, I want to go to Belgrade, let's go meet these people. Then we went all together and I met Dan from the agency and Christina as well. She was there. So I got talking with them and everything. They asked me if I would like to come to Milan. Now it's like very important, the personality. So when you go there, you should not be shy or something like that because the clients, when they want to go for a girl and when they're going to pay for that girl, they want that she is able to do everything that they want. My family is amazing. They're really supportive. My, I have a sister. She's older than me, just a year. So we are really close. She's my best friend. My mom, she's amazing. I mean, since I started, she was there for me. She would be like the one that gave me like the push. She was like, oh, come on, you can do that. Like we've been, you know, like through everything. You're just that. And I'm living a crazy life. And I love it. I, I don't think I would fit in a normal one. <laughs> the world is mine. The world is mine. The world is mine. This is my book. I'm going to show you. Um, these pictures are from Flair magazine. I shot them recently in New York. One of my favorites, when I used to have a black hair. And it's a Vogue Nippon, it's by Terry Siolis, and the fashion editor Ariana Phillips, which is very exciting because she's Madonna's personal stylist. This is a Maria Claire, Italian one. I did it with Ivana, the stylist. She's amazing. I just actually went yesterday to see her. Uh, this was a uh, Ten magazine. We shot it in London. It was a very long story. And for two days we worked until midnight. But the pictures looked good, so it was worth it. The world is mine. Oh, this is one of my favorite. One of my favorite actually person in fashion. It's Stefano Pilati for Yves Saint Laurent. So we were shooting the, the collection for a lookbook and website and he would just take a camera and do these photos but then. This is for the Alberta Ferretti campaign. I shot it with Steven Maisel. It was one of the most exciting shooting and the fastest. He's so fast and it was so good. And this is a card I have here. But I got the new one, so I'm gonna change it. And that's me. This was Women Management. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed. We introduced you to some of them who explain you how this thing works. So, see you next time. Bye. The world is mine. The world is mine.